All right, so here are my, uh, my crazy flat colors, what's called flatting in professional digital art. And what I was doing at the end of the last video was I was using the paint bucket. I was using the option key to pick colors. And I could do it from multiples and then dropping them in. So maybe I wanted a really dark shadow color. I can steal it from here. But I think what I probably want is something like this. So I'm just trying all these different color inspirations. Let's try the really dark here. I think that works pretty well. And remember, I have multiple. So now I have some for green. Pick a nice middle green for the feet, a light green for the beak. Yeah. And now grays. I even have some grays in here I can use. And maybe I even want to bring in some different tones. Now just because you're using reference images doesn't mean you need to stick with that but it can really take you a long way. So say I like that, but I want to make it more gray. Well, then I can pick that color and just desaturate it on my color slider. Until it's the gray I want. So those are flat colors. Let's get a nice off white. So that's just another approach to doing flat color. Whereas before I had this because I chose them from the, the rainbow, now I have these as my flat colors. So what's the next step for coloring? Well, we set up the duotone color, right? So what was duotone? We made a, a duplicate of our flat colors. My flat colors now are more interesting than they were before. So Command J, duplicate it. I'm going to call it rename it duotone highlights. So this is repeating something I've done in an earlier video. On this copy of my flats, my new flats, I can then go to image adjustments and I'm gonna make all of my flat colors into a highlight version of themselves because duotone is splitting your flat color into lights and darks. And I do that by taking the levels under image adjustments, moving it to the left, about halfway, and you get my local colors in bright sunlight, right? So those are the highlights. And then for, for hard edge duotone, I cut out from them using my lasso. So what I'm going to outline with my lasso tool are the shadows. And then I hit delete. And what I'm deleting from is my highlights layer. So I get a shadow on that wing. I'll put a shadow under the eye. I'll put a shadow on the side of the shirt, especially around the fold. And on the rear end. I'll put a shadow on the underside of the tail. And because I'm doing hard edged, 
I'm pretty much making new shapes, you know, internal edges that sometimes can be quite dramatic. My favorite when I did this before in the last video was on the underside of the foot. This shadow shape I'm cutting out really gives dimension to the foot beyond just flat color on its own. And you get to make the creative choices about where that lighting change should happen. Maybe just a little bit on the beak here to show that shadow and a little bit on the inside of the mouth. Show the shadow of the, up, of the upper beak. And then maybe just a little bit inside this wing. Now it's nice to have thicker outlines, so a coloring book is well suited to this, so it's easier to select around them. Now when it comes to the helmet, it's a little trickier. Because we have a reflective surface with the metal, so I could do a lot of shapes here with duotone, but I'll keep it subtle to begin with. Just cutting away some of these shadows. And then with the what would you call it? The, the flare of the helmet, the kind of feathers, I'm just gonna cut away from the highlight in the middle of it. Or maybe, let's see, I can hold down option and I can cut away. So something like that. So that is Duotone hard edge with just the uh, the highlights. I also want to put all of this in shadow. And you can see how that improves upon the flat colors. But Duotone can push it not just lighter, it can also push it darker. So I'm going to make another duplicate of my flats, Command-J, and I'm going to call this my Duotone and my duotone shadows, I'm going to show you how you can do it hard edged or how you can do it cut it, um, soft edged. So I'm going to do the same thing I do with the highlights, except I'm going to do image adjustments, levels, and then I'm going to push it halfway to the right. And you can see how strongly that darkens my flat colors, right? And then I'm going to use my lasso again. And here I'm going to cut away where I think the highlights should be. But now it's going to be mid-tones instead of full highlights. And you'll see what I mean once I hit delete. So here I have three tones of blue, a lot like my, my reference image, right? Showing the dimension of that wing. And then here, I'm going to put that, that mid-tone of blue as well, cutting away from my shadows. I can soften this transition under the eye by having it step through three different blues. Same thing with the pelvis. Same thing with the tail. This is still duotone. Duotone doesn't mean two colors. It means that you take the flat local color and you divide it into highlights and shadows of that color.
and then I can always go back. I can delete more from my highlights. Like I might want to shadow where the, uh, the helmet overlaps the head, cut that out of my duotone highlights, and then also cut it out of my shadows. So it's the middle. So those are ways just using the lasso tool, you can have fun with duotone. That I think is pretty effective. So let's look at what these three layers give us. First, I have my flat color. Once you have your full flats, everything filled in, go ahead and lock it, because you're not going to change that. You're just going to duplicate it and then augment it. Then I have my duotone shadows, right? So that's what my flats look like with just the duotone shadows. Looks a little heavy handed. Then I have my duotone highlights. And then I can think, oh, okay, I don't need all of this in shadows. Let me delete some of that. Maybe that's a little much. Same thing with the bird's claws. Maybe I soften it, maybe I don't. So this is really doing duotone. But duotone doesn't stop with hard edged using your lasso. Often duotone coloring will also contain soft edge coloring. And though it looks like I am softening these edges by stepping down through a mid-tone color, in reality, all of these edges are very hard. They're very clean because I don't have very much feathering at all on my lasso. I only have three pixels of feathering, which is a little bit softer than if I had zero, but it's still pretty subtle. So how do I do soft edged? Well, I'm going to make a duplicate of my flats again. But I'm going to call this soft edge duotone. And I'm going to call it both, because this will both be for the highlights and the shadows. Because soft edge is so simple to do, you simply use your dodge and burn tools on a duplicate of your flats. So to remember, burn you want to use it in the mid-tone range. You want to use it at an exposure that's less than 30. And I use, usually, I'm going to use it with a soft brush, fairly large. Okay, so let's try it. Burn is going to darken, so let's try it on the wing. You can see how that works. It works in the mid-tones, and it's only going to work on the flat colors. This is kind of the safest way to work with it. I'm just going to use that soft edge burn tool wherever I think it can be helpful. Then I can use it on my duotone shadows. I can duplicate that and have a soft edge duotone shadow layer. with some soft transitions. This is subtle, but this is just showing you both of them at once. And then I can do it on my highlights, make a duplicate of my highlights and burn those down soft edged where I think they need it. 